my audio in the meantime. I'll just pretend that I had this set up already. There we go. Okay. Now we can hit the button. And we're live! Hey! Welcome to Teardown Tuesday. Uh, so recently I was in Tokyo as part of the Arm Hackster Innovators Tour of Asia. Uh, it's actually called the Arm Innovators Asia Tour. But anyway, it's at armtour.hackster.io. You can find out all the info on that. But uh, I got really into these capsule vending machines. And it's basically these, you know, vending machines where you put in a coin or like tap your transit card or whatever and you get a little plastic ball with some kind of treasure in it. Uh, these ones, uh, I luckily got the blue versions of these. Uh, you know, there were a bunch of different types of them. This one is a little robot. It doesn't actually do anything robotic, but I thought it'd be fun to put it together and see what um, actually, what I could do with it to turn into an actual robot. And then this is a little cheapo watch that I knew was gonna be kind of crap quality, and it is. But I want to take it apart because not only do we have some kind of fun little polarizing filter probably in here over the little screen, but who knows what else. So I'm going to save this one for next week, or maybe let's just take a really quick look. But I don't have much time, so, uh, you know, we may have to do part two. Let's just take a really quick look at what's here. Ha ha ha. If I can get it open. Oh, it's perforated. Clever. Ugh. Just gotta be smarter than the plastic wrap. Oh, come on. It's really not very well perforated, is it? There we go. Ooh, shiny. Neat, we have a little guide. We've got some little stickers to put on there. Little caution warning things. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and it's got assembly instructions. Okay, okay. Um, I am gonna save this for another day because we only have a little time today, but um, <sighs> there's much more to come as well. Uh, what I wanted to do today was bring you the next video on the Ultra 96, but my video editing software is being evil. So instead we get to take something apart. Yay, Teardown Tuesday, it's my favorite. It's probably your favorite too. This thing is on, uh, it's probably still on Tokyo time because I did actually manage to set it. Uh, it brings back lots of fond memories. Look, it's got the Alarm, it makes the beeps that are so familiar. I think it has a light. Yeah, look at that. Ha 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 ha. You know, you can do all the different stuff. Uh, but I've never taken one apart before. And even though as a child I was very inquisitive and always wanted to, I actually needed watches and thought they were neat, so I didn't take them apart. Uh, but we're gonna do that now. So uh, I have taken apart. Um, my share of little solar calculators and um, you know you note that the little LCD number screen ooh different no they're the same uh, and usually they have a little polarizing filter over it without which you can't actually see the numbers and that's kind of a cool little I always thought it would be a neat secret messaging platform uh, what does it say stainless steel back water resistant uh-huh if you say so. Um, part of the reason I'm so comfortable taking this apart is because it's got this huge scratch on the front. Uh, you know, but it does seem to... It's only about two minutes off from what it would actually be, so that's nice. So we've got a little coin cell battery in here. What else we got? I'm not going to take the battery out before disassembling it because I think it's more fun that way. What's on here? Nothing really. Oh, it's just a little contact for the... This is a lightning round. Again, I spent most of my productive time today trying to get that video ready, but... Oh, you're holding on the little battery contact, I see. Excellent. So we've got this little board underneath the back that's all screwed down. We do have three side buttons. I'm curious about when those will come out. Let's put you little guys all together. Ooh! <laughs> I'm also blocking all the light going to this. Tear down lightning round! So exciting. My 
uh, screwdriver is a little magnetized, so... Oh, that was just the battery holder, huh? So we've got a little 2021, I think. It's like 20 millimeters by 2.1 millimeters. Something like that. Uh, it's smaller than your traditional 2032. Ooh, so now where's my little prior thing? Maybe I can just... Come here. Obviously when I removed the battery, it stopped showing the numbers on there. Presumably we've got some cut. There we go. Oh, here's our little display with its plastic thingies. Look at this. So that's really just all physical contacts. What? So it was in here like this. This, I'm guessing, is your crystal. Uh, some kind of capacitor, maybe. And then a little chip with a blob of stuff over it that, you know, either conceals what the chip is or just, uh, you know, you can have the little internals on there without an actual package on it. So maybe they just stuck it on there, like all the tiny little components. This looks like it's a contact row, which is pretty interesting to me. Because it's kind of unusual. Okay, although, you know, again, I haven't taken apart many of these, so could be normal. Ha <laughs> ha Here we have the whole thing taken apart, although the little buttons are still staying in, which is probably because they have these little stops on them. Uh, can we zoom in here? Neato. Yeah, you can kind of see when I move these back and forth, they've got a little flare at the base that keeps them from coming out. Even if you take the thing apart, which is, you know, that's nice. Mm, this was a little cute teddy bear design with some tea. Maybe I'll even put it back together later on. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, this just doesn't seem to... My guess is they popped it in from the front. Yeah. So we can just sort of... <laughs> so cute. Oh, look at that. And then... Does it go to some kind of really fine traces? Kind of looks like it does. Yeah. You got little dots on there. You can't really see them, but... Um, there's a tiny row... Oh yeah, you can kind of see if I tilt it like this, a little dot of the contacts. And those seem... Do they correspond with these? Let's find out. They look like about the same size. I think, I bet that's what that is. It's probably just a little sort of bridge guy. I've never actually seen this uh, kind of a contact, which is pretty cool. Who knew? Probably a bunch of you knew. I did not. <laughs> So it's probably some kind of little conductive carbon or graphite bits in the rubber or something, keeping it uh, conductive. That's very neat. Oh, it's so simple. So I can't tell what's underneath the epoxy here. Uh, it's just, you know, the guts of whatever makes it work. And then you've got a little resistor guy. It says one, two, one. So that means it's a 120 ohm resistor. Uh, what else have we got? A little tiny diode. There's your little green LED there, the backlight. <laughs> so cute. Um, and yeah, again, my guess is that this is the crystal that keeps the time. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like it. And then this guy, maybe some kind of a power capacitor guy. Um, shout out with any comments you have about what you think these extra little bits are. And uh, I gotta sign off now, but I hope you enjoyed this little bite-sized Teardown Tuesday. It's so simple and cute. Okay, let's start. Oh, ooh, I pulled it apart. Oh, bad me. <laughs> uh, I'm still gonna try and put it back together and see if it works. <laughs> it probably doesn't, but who knows? I might have broken it. No, not yet. Yet being the operative word. Oh, maybe over there. Or maybe that's just a little novel on the glass. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in. Might not even have the orientation correct anymore. Who knows? Adventure! Mm -mm -mm. So all these little guys want to go back in there. Like so. We've got this guy who was kind of like that. Was that right? I think it was like that. It seems to be symmetrical, except one side is slightly larger than the other. 
So I'm gonna pretend like it went this way. Oh, wait, can I scroll back and see? Maybe not. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll find out afterwards uh, which way up it was supposed to go. Oh, look, it's even got a tab for pulling it up. I didn't notice that. So maybe it was on top, because I think I was looking at the bottom. Find out later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go in. Go in. Oh, it's probably catching on one of the buttons, huh? Go out. Mmm, <laughs> buttons. I need a little thingy thing. I'm just gonna use... I've actually got a little nail clipper here because I'm always working with my hands on screen. I don't want y'all to see some dirty, dank nails. <laughs> um, TMI, perhaps. I don't remember which way up this went. Hmm, maybe I can figure it out from context. Also, there was this thing. You know what? I'm gonna take a rain check and put this back again. Um, I should really have been taking notes while I was doing this, but we'll put it back again some other time and uh, see she's at. <laughs> she says as she's putting it back together in a shoddy sort of fashion. Uh, I'll take the recording, I'll put it back together again, we'll see if it still works. Uh, I had a lot of fun pulling stuff apart when I was a kid, and when I was seven, like, what I asked for was a six-bit screwdriver for my birthday. Um, I'm very happy to report that I did get one, however, it didn't have the triangle bit that would have enabled me to take apart McDonald's toys. I learned years and years later that you can actually use the tip of a pair of pliers, which is triangular shaped. You know, there's the flat grabby bit, and then it tapers from the top point to like to that flat bit so it kind of looks like this you can actually insert the end of one of those pairs of pliers uh just one side of it into those screws and open it up whoa so if you're a fan of taking things apart stay tuned on our other teardown tuesdays um when i will have uh, a little robot to put together and other stuff we'll see if we can stick some servos on it and make it like really go around wouldn't that be sweet the cool thing about this capsule guy is that um, it actually uses the capsule itself as part of the robot's body, and so I'm really excited to put that together for you. Uh, but that'll be a tear up Tuesday, not a tear down Tuesday, and we will see you so for that soon. Thanks for watching, have an awesome rest of your Tuesday, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Ciao!